a one powerful hurricane can cause millions, billions, even tens of billions of dollars in damages. Uh, now imagine a season where several strong hurricanes make landfall in the U.S. And as expected, this hurricane season is going to be an active one. All signs are pointing toward it being a likely costly one. And now FEMA, the Federal Emergency Management Agency, is sounding the alarm that money in its disaster relief fund could run out by the time this season reaches its peak. And this comes after this spring was one of the most destructive and deadly springtime severe weather seasons on record. We've had $11 billion disasters uh, so far this year. What does that mean for the hurricane season? Let's bring in a Fox Business correspondent, Ashley Webster, to discuss. Yeah. Ashley, uh, this is problematic. We know how devastating the springtime severe weather season was, but for folks down in the hurricane zone, uh, hearing that FEMA yeah. could be a little bit light on funds, uh, that's concerning. Well, you know, Ian, they've heard it before. In fact, FEMA ran out of money last year. If you remember, about August of last year, Hurricane Adelia coming into Florida's Big Bend was very catastrophic, very expensive, billions of dollars. And then in that same time period, you had wildfires that absolutely devastated areas in Maui, if you remember that. Those two events alone were incredibly expensive as people were trying to put their lives back together and communities put their infrastructure back together. So, uh, based on that, they ran out of money last year mm -hmm. and had to rely on an extra $16 billion from Congress to be put back into the budget. If things continue on the path they are this year, then they could be short. They estimate by close to $7 billion by August or late August and September when we really see the hurricane season ramping up. The question is, what happens if they go in the red? Well, then that's not going to turn around and say, sorry, we run out of money. They will find the money for it. They will be funded by Congress. But that means areas elsewhere will probably have to suffer. Right. I know, Ashley, that Florida senators are already asking those tough questions because yeah. I know as people prepare for this active season, uh, they want to know that they'll be taken care of. Does it appear as though Congress could act in advance of one of these storms making landfall? I, I think so. A lot of this, of course, based on what you just outlaid, you know, the fact that we've had terrible tornado season. In fact, I read a stat somewhere, which I had to read twice, if not three times. Uh, 780 confirmed tornadoes in April and May. That's according to the Storm Prediction Center. And when we talk about the damage and the, and the, and the dreadful uh, situation where lives are lost, we should also say, look, the tornadoes obviously are devastating, but then you have wind damage that uh, can create problems problems with buildings. We saw those windows blown out in downtown Houston. Uh, and then you have hail damage. And hail, if you've ever lived in rural areas, it's absolutely devastating to the crops as well as property as well. So you put all this together, you're right. The, uh, the senators, uh, Marco Rubio for sure, has been saying, look, we need to get ahead of this because based on all the forecasts, uh, it's going to be an extremely busy and potentially devastating hurricane season. So yes, um, for homeowners out there in Florida, a, they've had trouble getting insurance, and that's been a long, uh, you know, problem. But also, B, FEMA is, as it will always provide life-saving uh, activities and life-sustaining activities. So hang in there. But, yes, it's going to be incredibly costly. Yeah, that, that, that's good to hear for folks in the hurricane zone, at least. We know how devastating yeah. 2024 has been with the severe weather. But tropical systems can yeah. be so much larger, impacting so many people. Fox Business correspondent Ashley Webster, thanks for the report.